Hello everyone. Today I am here with a new topic: force, work, and energy. Children, look at this slide. On left hand side, a boy is pushing the car. In the A picture, you can see the girls are pulling each other, and in the B picture, girls are pushing each other. And in the last C section, you can see the man is pulling an animal. Now come to the right hand side of the slide. You can see. the trolley moves along the direction of the push and then driver is pulled out and the hockey stick hits the ball forward isn't it in the last slide you can see that animal is carrying the load by pulling the cart so children all these exhibits either push or pull so the action of pull or push is known as force children in the previous slide we have understood that when we apply the force that is push or pull many changes takes place in an object so in this slide we'll see that what force can do what type of changes can be done on an object when we apply a force number first slide you can see children animal is driving the car that means the force can change the position of an object in here also the boy is doing the skating and you can see the skates are moving their position the boy is taking the its position changing its position by applying the force in the left hand side uh, you can see the football players they are changing the direction of the football that means the force can change the direction of an object in the middle of the slide you can see the boy is catching a ball that means force can stop the movement of an object and here you can see ch children that the last slide the force can change the shape of an object you might have observed the goldsmith and the blacksmith goldsmith means sunar and blacksmith means loha so they beats the metal by heating it and then they can change its shape so force can make the objects move second force can change the direction of an object force can stop the movement of the object and force can change the shape of the object now children let us understand about types of force number 1 frictional force children friction is caused when two objects move against each other and the force is created on an object that helps to decrease the speed of an object just like you can see in the first slide children the truck is applying the frictional force and it is applying the brakes to stop the vehicle to protect from the accident or to prevent the accident now second is electrostatic force electrostatic force like materials like plastics create some type of forces after rubbing them against dry hair or the silk cloth and they attract small piece of paper or your body hair towards them this type of force is known as electrostatic force now come to the muscular force muscular force is applied by your muscles is it clear magnetic force some metals attract magnets towards itself like iron nickel cobalt so these type of substance are known as magnetic substance and they exert a force which attracts the metallic some metals towards itself that is known as magnetic force now come to the gravitational force as you know very well we all can stand on the earth due to the gravitational force and all things come down due to the gravitational force so the force exerted by the earth surface is known as gravitational force what is work children when we exert push and pull then it is said to be a force so children after applying the force when object displaces from one position to another position or the object changes its position 
then it is said to be a work done work done depends on two things number one how much force we all are applying and second is how much distance an object is covering so work done is equal to force applied by an object into distance moved by the object so measuring unit of the work is newton we measure the force in newton and distance we measure in meter so newton into meter and in si unit it is said to be a joule isn't it and now children when work is difficult to do with our hands we use some tools to make our work easier and in a lesser time so then we use some kinds of machines so children machines are the device that makes our work easier so children machine helps us to do our work faster and with lesser efforts and they change the direction of the force used and to do work with less force isn't it let us understand about different types of machines now children simple machine make our work easier in this way number 1 they increase the amount of force applied number 2 they change the direction of the force applied and they increase the speed of doing work now machines are mainly of following types lever inclined plane screw pulley wheel and axle and one more simple machine is there that is wedge is it clear now lever lever is a machine with a rod that can move freely about a fixed point a lever consists of three part fulcrum efforts and load okay so children fulcrum is a fixed point if you see the scissor it has a middle point that is fixed is it clear you can see the nutcracker it also has the fixed point they where they are attached with each other is it clear now efforts efforts is a part of the lever where the force is applied just like in the scissor we use the fingers to apply the force load load is the weight that has to be moved okay now on the position of the fulcrum load and efforts levers are of three type first class lever second class lever and third class lever so children you always remember one word flee f l e flee flee means in first class lever fulcrum is in the center in the second class lever load is in the center and in third class lever effort is in the center so how you will recognize different type of types of lever by the word flee if fulcrum is in the center that means the fixed point is in the center that means it will be a first class lever if load is in the center that that means it will be a second class lever and if efforts are effort is in the center that means this will be a third class lever now children inclined plane an inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher at one end it is used to move an object to a lower or higher place we require less energy and force to move the object with an inclined planes example ramp or you may see the slides in which you go down and enjoy the park is it clear and you can see the in the hospital there are inclined plane which makes easier to carry the wheelchair with less efforts okay so then next is wheel and axle a wheel and axle arrangement is made up of two circular object of different sizes the axle is a rod that goes through the wheel example the car steering you can see there is a big wheel by which one axle is <clears throat> attached is it clear so that so that the, it is easy to move the things from place to place with the wheel and axle example you can see steering wheel and the bicycle pedal then comes to the screw screw is actually an inclined plane wrapped around a cylindrical rod that has a sharp pointed end and screw are turned with the help of a screw driver is it clear now come to the wedge wedge is actually children it is a combination of 
two inclined plane and two inclined plane join together they form a wedge example is x okay now children energy the capacity to do the work is known as energy energy cannot be created or cannot be destroyed it can be only be transformed from one form to the another form energy is of many types number one heat energy that we utilize in our homes and several places to uh, do several activities like at home we can cook the food with the help of heat energy isn't it we use the electron electrical heaters where we can use the heat of that heater for our different purposes isn't it now come to the electrical energy energy that from, from, comes from electricity is known as electrical energy it is used in houses schools hospitals offices etc is it clear then comes to the muscular energy muscular energy means the energy present in our muscles and that energy comes from the fuel like food that we eat that gives us energy and that energy is utilized to do several activities you all do exercise you all carry loads is it clear animals carry loads they all use their muscular energy now comes to the chemical energy children crackers have the chemical energy when you burn the cracker that chemical energy is released to give the fire in the same way if you see the torch battery that also contains chemicals inside it and that energy is utilized to give us light and now sound energy sound is also the form of energy which gives us the sound waves now energy can be interchanged from one form to another just like you can take example of electrical press so in this press we use the electrical energy into heat energy is it clear in the same way bulb we use the elect we convert the electrical energy to light energy so that is called interconversion of energy so always remember energy cannot be created nor be destroyed only it can be transformed from one play one form to another now children sources of energy the main source of energy is sun on the earth green plants trap the sunlight to make their food you know that green plants contain chlorophyll and chlorophyll traps the sunlight human beings and animals eat that food and use that solar energy to do our work and to stay alive now let us understand about different sources of energy number 1 is solar energy so the word solar means sun and we use solar heater solar cookers to heat water and cook our food solar energy can be changed into heat energy or the light energy as well as electrical energy wind or water energy is used for generating electricity we use wind or water energy in wind mills and water wheels to grind the grains into flour the electricity produced from water is called hydro electricity the energy of wind is called wind energy now comes to the atomic energy children atom you know atom is the smallest particle of a matter so atomic energy comes from the splitting of the atom atomic energy is used for producing electricity and it may be used for destructive purposes also by making atom bombs is it clear now geothermal energy geothermal as the word indicate geo means earth the energy which is present inside the earth that is known as geothermal energy so our earth has hot molten mass and the another important source of energy is present inside our earth this is called as geothermal energy thank you have a nice day